So many fat rolls dripping off of their fat ass bodies. You might as well kill yourself now. Wow. These women have crossed over a non-human status. Someone take them out of their misery now. You're not curvy. You're fat. Face the facts. Go ahead and eat your feelings some more, you hippo. When I opened my store, my idea was that I couldn't be the only fat girl looking for sexy clothes. I knew I couldn't be the only person. And what I really wanted to do is create a safe place where fat women can come and talk about their sex lives and come and find fun stuff that helps them to make their sex life even richer and funner and um, sexier. Oh, dating used to be a problem. Before I learned to love myself, I would um, put myself in situations where it was uncomfortable. Um, the struggles that I've faced, I've started since childhood. Um, being shamed, being shunned from groups, not uh, really ever being truly seen as a person, um, more as an afterthought. Um, it's been difficult to form relationships and to um, make sure that they're believable because there always seems to be an angle when you're curvy. I once had um, a boy tell me that I had all these great qualities and he listed them, you know, like you're friendly and you're pretty and um, you're smart, but you'd, you would be the perfect girlfriend if only you weren't fat. That's, that was pretty bad. <laughs> the store has been a, a savior for me. And through the store, you know, I started seeing women um, who didn't think they were beautiful, but I saw how beautiful they were. And I thought, well, if they're beautiful, then I must be beautiful too, which might sound a little vain now, but I needed that. And it gave me this confidence that now I get complimented on. Um, I think one of the unique things of working at Curvy Girl is when you have a customer come in kind of shy, um, reserve, and just kind of just barely peeking at things and then encouraging them to try it on and then going into the, they're going into the dressing room and they, they find something that fits and they start to feel comfortable with their own body and how, how amazing they are and how sexy they are. And they come out, they glow, they smile, um, they're just happier and they're, it's like butterflies. It's like butterflies, you know, emerging from a cocoon. Your worth is not defined only by your beauty or your attractiveness, but it's a part of what a lot of us want to feel. We want to feel beautiful and we want to feel attractive. And there are people out there who see you as beautiful and attractive exactly the way you are right now, not the way you will be 20 pounds from now, 50 pounds from now, whatever, but exactly as you are right now. Um, and you don't get told that often enough, so I'm here to be one of the ones to tell you. The store has changed my life in the way that it's, it's not just about me, but it's also about empowering other women. Um, it's also about creating friendships and women empowering other women of different shapes and sizes that there's beauty in all of us on the inside and on the outside and that we have the right to, to be happy, to take up space, to live our lives and have great sex and great relationships. I put the laundry on. I just, I feel like, like a sex queen, I guess, like uh, the most beautiful woman in the room. And it's a great feeling.